welcome to today's practice. We are gonna press the reset button, take it easy, stretch it out. You'll be needing two blocks. If you don't have uh, blocks, you'll use something, books or um, books and or cushions or pillows. So you'll see what we'll do with them later. And a strap, if you don't have a strap, you'll use a tie, a t-shirt, anything that you can loop around your leg. So if you do have a strap, you can go ahead and make a loop here and then set them off to the side. So we're gonna start in child's pose. Bring your knees wide, big toes together. Extend your arms out, rest your head down. You can press your palms down into your mat, send your hips towards your heels, wiggle around a little bit. And then settle in, start to connect to your breath. Eventually beginning to lengthen your inhales and your exhales. And as you breathe, take a moment to focus on your mantra for the day. And you can keep your head down, just thread your left arm underneath your right and rest either your forehead down or the side of your head down, stretching out the shoulder. Take a few breaths here. Begin to release and switch. Thread your right arm underneath, rest your head down, and breathe. Begin to release. As you inhale, make your way up to a table position. Bring your shoulders over wrists, hips over knees. Gently draw your navel in. We're gonna first turn the fingertips toward the knees to get a little stretch in the wrists. So keep your palms flat, just start to lean back until you feel that stretch. Make sure you're not hyperextending the elbows. And breathe into your wrists. And release, fingertips forward, cat-cow. As you inhale, find cow pose. Take your gaze up, the tailbone up, drop your belly. Exhale, press down, round your spine, cat pose. Inhale, roll through your spine, lift up. Exhale, round. A couple more, inhale. And exhale. Last one, inhale. And exhale. Come back to a neutral spine. We're gonna to start to make circles with the torso. So belly drops down, round up, and draw a big circle. So you can bend your elbows if you need to. Make this feel good. Move with your breath. And switch the direction of the circles. Nice, come back up to a neutral spine. Shift your hands forward for downward facing dog. So tuck your toes, lift your hips when you're ready. And take it easy here. You might be super tight in your hamstrings and calves. You can walk in place. Still connected with your breath. 
when you're ready, start to press your heels towards your mat so you can keep a deep bend in your knees if you want, whatever feels best here. Just gently press your chest toward your thighs, pull your navel up toward your spine, relax your head down. Take a couple more breaths. And as you inhale, look to your hands. Exhale, gently walk your feet up. Bring them about hip width apart, and we'll take ragdoll here. So you can bend your knees, grab your elbows or biceps, let your head hang down. And feel free to sway side to side. Decompressing our spine, creating some space. Release your arms down. We're gonna take the feet a little bit wider to the edges of the mat. Bend your left knee, left hand to the center. Inhale, reach your right arm up. Find a twist, breathe into your belly. And release, bend your right knee, right hand to the center. Inhale, left arm up. And release back to center. You can scoot your feet in a little bit, back to hip width apart. Bend your knees, take your time to roll up to standing, let your arms hang heavy. As you inhale, sweep the arms high. Exhale, hands to heart center. Inhale, reach the arms up overhead, big breath in. Exhale, hinge at your hips, forward fold. So knees can be bent again. Inhale, lift up halfway, chest forward. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, lift up halfway. Exhale, hands down, step your left foot back. And we're gonna release the hips down, reach the chest forward, and then just shift the weight forward and back. So again, if you're super tight here, after all our hard work, you don't have to straighten this front leg very much. Just move as it feels good. Nice, release your left knee down. Inhale, bring your hands to the top of your leg. So what we want here is to drop the hips down, but rather than just kind of collapsing through the belly, pull the belly in and up, lift your chest. You can have your back toes tucked or not. And we're just gonna stay here for a few breaths. So breathe into any tension. Relax your shoulders. Now we're gonna take the right hand to the outside of the right hip. You can use a block here if you'd like. And reach your left arm up and over. So hips stay low, just reach a lot through your left fingertips. Get a nice stretch through the hip flexor area, the psoas. Reach and breathe into your left side. Good, release your hand down. You can use both blocks on either side of your foot if you'd like, or just fingertips to the ground. So we're gonna shift the hips back to find a half split. You don't have to go for the full thing. Again, you can have a little bend in your knees and we're gonna flow here. So as you inhale, reach your chest forward, bend your right knee, and exhale, shift back. So just easy movement, inhale forward, exhale back. Come forward again, hands down, pick your left knee up, inhale, reach your right arm. Twist, breathe into your belly, look up to your fingertips. And release your hand down. On your inhale, step forward, take a halfway lift, and exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, 
Exhale, step your right foot back. Same thing on this side. Hips low, heart forward. Take it at your own pace. Rock forward and back. Again, be mindful of your hamstring. And go ahead and drop your right knee down. Inhale, hands to the top of the leg. Release the hips down. Pull up through the belly and chest, but relax. You can keep your toes tucked or release them down. Just hang out here as you breathe. Stay with your breath. Inhale to create space. Exhale to release tension. Okay, we'll take the left hand down to the ground or on your block and reach the right hand up and over. Create a stretch through the hip flexor, through the right side. and release your hand down. So blocks or no blocks, you're gonna shift your hips back. Again, being mindful, gentle with your leg, your hamstring, and inhale as you reach your chest forward. So exhale, shift back, inhale forward. Good, bring your knee forward, right hand down, pick up your right knee, inhale, left arm high, twist and breathe into your belly. Good, release your hand down, inhale, step your right foot forward, take a halfway lift, and exhale, forward fold. Inhale, reverse swan dive, you can bend your knees, lift your chest. Exhale, hands to heart center. Inhale, reach the arms high. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, reach up halfway. And exhale, forward fold. Inhale, reverse swan dive. This time, exhale, we're going to interlace the hands behind the back. Reach down as you expand through the chest. And then from here, start to uh, bring your chest toward your thighs. You can bend your knees as much as you need and let gravity take your arms toward the ground. So if this is too much, you can grab your forearms, your elbows, whatever feels best. Relax your head down. Slowly begin to release your hands down to the ground. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, we're gonna step right back to downward facing dog. So step the feet back, press the hips up. You can move around here. On your inhale, reach your right leg up toward the ceiling. Exhale, step your foot between your hands and we're gonna turn to face the left edge of your mat. So feet parallel, inhale, lengthen your spine. And exhale, draw your navel in as you fold. Again, knees can be bent here. Press into the ground. The elbows are gonna hug back toward the wall behind you. And we're looking for a nice gentle stretch in the legs. On your inhale, lift up halfway. We're gonna plant the left hand right under your face and inhale, reach your right arm high. Again, another twist. Take a moment here, breathe deeply into your belly. As you press down into your left palm, reach up through the right fingertips.
and release. Let's switch, right hand down, inhale, left arm high, press down as you reach up and breathe. Good, release your hand down. We're gonna turn to face the front of the mat. So I want you to step this left foot up a little bit closer. We're standing on railroad tracks. The left toes are pointed out, feet are two to three feet apart. You can use your blocks on either side of your foot for intense leg stretch. So inhale, reach your chest forward. Exhale, fold over your front leg. Relax your head down. And we're looking to square the hip. So pull back on the right hip. Send your breath into the back of your right leg. Inhale, lift up halfway. We're gonna step the left foot behind the right. So the pinky toes come close together and the heels are cl close together. It's a sciatic stretch. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold over your legs. So you can feel free to keep your hands down on the ground. If you wanna go a little bit deeper, interlace your hands behind your back. Let gravity take them toward the ground. Again, we're gonna press really firmly into both feet to stabilize ourselves. This is a really awesome stretch. Breathe into the tension. If you have your arms up, release them down. Step your left foot back, and we'll take the right foot to the edge of your mat. So drop your left knee down. Here's where our strap might come in handy. So where you can either use it without it. If you can reach your foot with your right hand, go for it. Otherwise, take your strap, loop it around your foot, and then you're gonna take the strap <laughs> Take the strap over your shoulder and then gently start to pull the foot in toward your glutes. So you, if you have your hand in your foot, your foot in your hand, <laughs> start to pull the heel toward the glutes. If this is a lot right here, stay there. You can drop down to your forearm if that's available to you. Deep breaths, quite an intense stretch here for all that work we did with the quads. This is awesome to create some space. Couple more breaths. Okay, begin to release your foot from your hand or strap. And then we'll come to lizard pose. So relax your foot down. Again, you can stay up here. If this is plenty of a stretch for you, you can bring your forearms down to your block or all the way down to, your, to the ground. Your right foot can stay flat. You can come to the outer edge of your right foot. Just keep it flexed so you're not collapsing there. And breathe deeply. You can take a couple exhales through your mouth. Really let go. Start to make your way back up to your hands if you're not already there. We're gonna step it back to downward facing dog. As you're ready, inhale, lift your left leg high, and exhale, step your foot forward. 
Step the right foot up just a bit for intense leg stretch. So right toes are pointing outward. You're standing on railroad tracks. You can grab your blocks if you'd like. Inhale, lift up halfway. And exhale, fold over your front leg. Relax your head down. Again, we'll pull back on the left hip to square the hips off. Let your head be heavy. Inhale, lift up halfway. For a sciatic stretch, step your right foot behind your left, pinky toes close together and heels close. Inhale, lift up halfway. Exhale, forward fold. Again, your choice, fingertips down or interlace your hands behind your back. Press firmly, evenly into both feet. Begin to release your hands down. We'll step the right foot all the way back and bring the left foot to the edge of the mat. Drop your right knee. Grab your foot with your left hand or use your strap. Loop it around the foot. And then bring the strap over the shoulder. So you're pulling gently the heel toward the glute. You might drop down to your forearm, get a little bit deeper. Begin to release your foot. <clears throat> and for lizard pose, either staying up on your hands or dropping down again to your forearms. Foot can be flat or come to the edge of the foot. Make sure you're not collapsing in the ankle. Stay with your breath here. You can always come back to your mantra. Begin to rise back up, and we'll step back to downward dog. Take your time to get there. Deep breath in through your nose, out through your mouth. On your next inhale, reach your right leg up toward the ceiling. Exhale, bring your right knee behind your right wrist, setting up pigeon pose. Extend your left leg straight back. So if your right hip is um, way off the ground, you can stick a block right underneath your hip or whatever you have, a cushion, a book, a blanket. And then center your weight, so make sure you're not leaning over to one side. Inhale, lift your chest. You can stay just like you are, or fold down halfway, or all the way down, resting your head. And we're gonna stay here for a few breaths.
On your next inhale, begin to rise back up to center. We're gonna shift our weight to the right, swing the left leg around for a seated twist. So bring your left hand behind you, hug your right knee in with your right arm. Inhale, lengthen your spine, and exhale, gently twist. Take your last breath in, and exhale, release to center. Make your way back to downward facing dog. Inhale, reach your left leg high. Exhale, bring your knee behind your left wrist. Pigeon pose, extend your right leg back. So again, use a block here if you need. Center your weight. Inhale, lift your chest. And exhale, fold halfway or all the way down. Try to relax into it, breathing into your left hip. Start to rise back up, shift your weight to your left and swing your right leg around, plant your foot down. So right hand is coming behind, hug your left or right knee close in tight, <clears throat> inhale, lengthen your spine and exhale, gently twist. Good, begin to release back to center. And I'm gonna to swing to face you. Let's bring the soles of the feet together here. <clears throat> and open the feet like you're reading a book. So the edges of the feet come together. Inhale, lengthen your spine. And exhale, begin to fold forward. So rather than rounding your spine, reach your chest forward. It doesn't matter if you get super low down. Press your elbows into your legs and take a few deep breaths. As you inhale, lift back up to center. And we're gonna grab both blocks and the strap, just have it uh, within reach. And we'll come down to our back. So we'll set up supported bridge pose here. Both of your knees bent, you're gonna take your block or your cushion or pillow, whatever you have, and slide it right under your sacrum. So you can move it around until it feels okay. You wanna be able to relax down, let go of effort and just breathe here. You can close your eyes if you'd like. As you inhale, press your belly up toward the ceiling. And as you exhale, gently pull your navel toward your spine. Inhale, press your belly high. And exhale, pull your navel in. One more, inhale. And exhale. And take your last couple of breaths here. So 
Slowly start to release the hips down. And from here, bring the soles of your feet together. Relax your knees out to the sides, bound angle pose. You can rest your hands on your belly or by your sides. Let your eyes close and just relax here and breathe. And take a full breath in through your nose, out through your mouth. And bring your hands to the outsides of your legs, knees back together. Here you're going to take your strap and take the loop around the ball of your right foot and extend the leg up. So you can keep your left knee bent, sole of your foot down, or if you can, you can extend your leg out. Either way, keep this left leg active and gently start to pull your foot in toward your body. So as you do this, make sure your hips and your tailbone aren't lifting up completely. You want to reach your tailbone toward your mat as you pull uh, the foot toward you. And breathe. You might be super tight here. This is a great stretch for the legs. Try to relax your right shoulder down. And then take your foot over to your right side. So either press the sole of your foot down into the ground or activate your leg so that you don't shift all the way to the right. And then come back through center, grab the strap with your left hand, and we're going to take a twist over to the left. So you can extend your leg out. You can bend your right knee if you need to. Breathe, you should feel a nice stretch through the IT band. Try to keep both shoulders grounded if you need to back out of the twist, do so. And come back to center. And let's switch. So take the loop around your left foot. Your right knee is either bent or extended out. Gently pull the foot in towards your body as you reach your tailbone towards your mat. You can use your right hand to kind of ground your right hip down as you take your foot out to the left. And cross it over your body. Grab the strap with your right hand and take your leg over to the right. Again, ground both shoulders down. You can put a little bend in your knee if you need. Breathe into the tension. Using your breath to create space. When you're ready, start to come back to center. You can put the strap off to the side, and we're actually gonna come up to seated just briefly to set up supported fish pose. So this is where both of your blocks come in, and again, you might be using cushions or pillows here. So you're gonna take <clears throat> the block, you have two different options, line it up right with your spine, or you can take it horizontally, play around with it, whatever feels best for you. So you'll take that one, um, right under the shoulder blades. So your chest should be the highest thing lifting up and then you'll take the other one and either stack it 
at the highest height under your head, maybe the middle or the lowest. If you are okay in your neck, you can even rela relax your head down on your mat. So if you have uh, cushions, set it up so that the chest is the highest part of your body, a nice opening through the chest. You can keep your knees bent, rest your knees against each other, or extend the legs out. And set this up in a way so that you can relax and breathe deeply into your belly and into your heart space. You can close your eyes. And take your last couple breaths here. If you wish to, you can stay here longer and just pause the video. And to release whenever you're ready, begin to gently press into your elbows, remove the blocks or cushions, and make your way down to Shavasana. So take any last movements that you feel you might need and relax your legs, relax your arms, let your eyes close, relax the muscles in your face, and take a few deep breaths in through the nose and out through the mouth, allowing yourself to completely relax here. Use your awareness to scan through your body, just noticing if there's anything that you're still holding on to. See if you can release a little bit deeper into the ground. Take a deep breath in through your nose. Fill up all the way and hold it in for three, two, one. Exhale through your mouth, let go. Again, inhale through your nose. Pause at the top. Exhale, let it go. One more inhale through your nose. Hold it in. Exhale through your mouth. Feel free to stay here a little longer. When you're ready, start to circle your wrists and ankles. Take a full body stretch, reaching out through your arms and your legs. Then bend your knees in toward your chest, roll over to one side. Make your way up to a comfortable seated position with your eyes closed. 
Deep breath in, sweep your arms up overhead. Exhale, hands to your heart center. Whenever you're ready, allow your eyes to blink open. Thank you so much for joining me for today's practice. Enjoy your rest day tomorrow, and I'll see you back on the mat for our next practice. Namaste.